Welcome to Bourbon School. I'm Lauren. And I'm Brian. And today we're going to make a paper plane cocktail. <laughs> Okay, Brian, I know that you're a fan of the paper plane cocktail already. Love it. So I have not had it before, so I'm really oh. I, I'm really excited to try it. And I know that since it has Aperol in it, it's got to be a really beautiful color and a beautiful um, summer cocktail. Yes. Yes? Yes, right. So definitely. what do we start with? Okay, so the ingredients that we're going to put in this cocktail, it's equal parts everything. So That's nice and easy. It's very, very easy. I remember my wife's birthday last summer. We made a ton of these for our guests. <laughs> I was there. But you didn't have one. I probably wouldn't remember anyway. Well, okay. Well, <laughs> so it's equal parts for ingredients. So we've got Aperol. We've got some Amaro Nonino. Mm -hmm. Some lemon juice. And then our bourbon, which we chose to use Knob Creek because, you know, we love to mix with Knob Creek. It's full flavored. It's 100 proof. It'll stand up to a lot of what you put in a cocktail. So let's start by getting a little bit about what these liqueurs mm -hmm. are that we're putting in. So tell us about Aperol. Okay, so Aperol is just a, it's an, an Italian aperitif, okay. an after dinner drink. Okay. And it has strong uh, orange, strawberry, rhubarb mm -hmm. flavor. So it's a citrusy okay. flavor that we're adding to it. Okay. And the color is amazing. Gorgeous. It's like mm -hmm. an orangey red. Yeah. It's really nice. And it is, it is what's going to give this cocktail its color for sure. Um, and then we have Amaro. Um, now, the actual official recipe for a paper plane calls for Amaro Nonino. Now, I will say I have made this with other Amaros, and it's just fine. Okay, but this particular Amaro is made from, most Amaros are made from a grain neutral spirit. This one is made from grappa, and then they infuse different herbs mm -hmm. and things into it to give it its flavor. Okay. All right. So this, like we said, this is a really, really easy cocktail to one, make. One, one, one. One, one, one. <laughs> right. So it's basically, now the or original recipe and the recipe that we'll link down in the description will call for one and a half ounces. Mm -hmm. um, we're just going to do an ounce just for speed purposes, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll start with an ounce of Aperol. And you want to put this in a shaker that is um, filled with ice. Filled with ice, yeah. All right, so one ounce Aperol. There you go. Thank you. Okay. So this is a relatively young drink, Brian. Yeah. Tell uh, me about from it. what I read, it's like 2007, 2008, Chicago, and a bar called the Violet the Violet Hour. Okay. Um, so it's not a, it's not like some of like the Manhattan that has kind of a. A lore behind a it. A long and yeah. storied history, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, fresh so, lemon juice, right? Freshly squoze by me myself about 10 <laughs> minutes ago. Um, but yeah, an, a, a one ounce of lemon juice uh, goes in. And next, we've got Is bourbon last? Well, it I doesn't. I think we, we should. It doesn't know, really I matter. Can't you save the best for last. First, you say Brian. Brian? Never mind. I won't go any further. <laughs> Okay, so one ounce. I don't know where we were going with that. What was, what were you there was something about needing a man to do this for Oh, me. oh, okay. There you go. Okay. So one ounce of Amaro. Again, I have tried this with several different Amaros. I, I don't know that it's necessary to have this particular Amaro, but that's what the official recipe calls for, so that's what we're using. And then our last ingredient would be one ounce of bourbon. We're choosing, like I said, Knob Creek. 100 proof stands up really well uh, to... Um, whatever you're mixing it with, but you can use whatever bourbon you prefer. I always suggest for a cocktail a higher proof bourbon. Yeah. Want to taste the alcohol because you want to taste mm -hmm. the bourbon, and with this one especially with the lemon, which is a really strong flavor, and the mm -hmm. herbal ingredients yeah. in those two, you definitely want a bourbon to stand up. All right, next. We're not going to shake it too much, right? We don't want to water it down. Correct. And then it calls for a coupe glass. We don't have those here because we aren't that fancy. But we I do. Think, I feel like you've got them somewhere in this house. I don't, I don't think know. we do. I really <laughs> don't. But we got these lovely, these are technically martini glasses, but they have festive palm trees on them. So it's perfect for a summery drink. Look at the color. It's beautiful. That is fun. Okay. So now you got to give it a taste. This is your first your first paper plane. Oh my gosh! Wow. 
This is quite a moment, and we're capturing it on camera. Oh, it's delicious. Wow. Yeah. There's there's nothing bad about mm. this drink. There's bitterness from the Aperol. Yes. You get the herbal. And the herbal. Yeah, I'm getting that. Woo. And you it's very refreshing, though. Yeah. And the lemon juice, obviously, that bitter citrusy note from the uh, lemon juice. And then underneath it all, you get that little bite from the bourbon. Yeah, I think it, the flavors are really well balanced. Yep. Um, I probably could have used a little bit more in my glass, but you know, I always I, make more. I might even you can make a whole pitcher of this if you want. I might kick that up to an ounce and a half of bourbon. Mm -hmm. I might. I, I was gonna say maybe a little like a like an extra splash. Yes, mm -hmm. I would go heavier on the bourbon, um, just so it shines through a little more. These are it is sweet. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. sweet, and these are some pretty strong flavors here. Mm -hmm. So I might even go like one, 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 one and a half for the bourbon, mm -hmm. just to give it a little more bite and get that kind of that, those bourbon notes coming through it. But I would say, you're going to drink this in the summer? Oh, definitely. And wait, one more thought. I think, I know we didn't want to water it down with ice, but I think it would be pretty, on a hot day, yeah. sitting out on your deck, put a couple ice cubes in it. Why not? Yeah, I, I think, yeah. and especially if you kicked up the bourbon a little Kick bit. Kick up the bourbon, add a couple ice cubes. You'd be fine That would with be that. my recommendation. Yeah. Definitely. All right, so Paper Plane, this should be your summery bourbon-y drink this summer. We're hoping to get over 60 degrees this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. We just had snow, so we're oh, hoping, we're hoping it, it warms up a little bit. All right, so make sure you check out our other cocktail videos. We're going to link the playlist right up here. And make sure you like, subscribe, and share this channel. So you never miss an episode of Bourbon School. Lauren, cheers. cheers.